Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Views. Going to do a Christmas beer. I am getting nearly that time of year. So I'm going to try and do pretty much every Saturday. I'm going to do at least one, maybe two Christmas beers. Um, Barton's in Ashton and Makerfield, just the road from where I am. I've got a, a load of Christmas beers, continental European uh, Christmas beers, Belgian Christmas beers. And I'm going to try and do a couple of them on the run-up to uh, Christmas. So we're going to start off with this one. And for those of you who are eagle-eyed, you will know this is the St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. And um, this comes in at a whopping 10% uh, ABV. It says so there. Best before is the 6th of August 26. It says so there. And it cost me four quid out of the Mighty Bartons, which is now called 410, the local. Anyway, it'll still be Bartons to me. Um... Is it on the back you need to know? Not really. I uh, like that label. The old, uh, I'm assuming he's a monk. Balkans are sat on and a big glass of beer, beer of the St. Bernardus in his hand. I'm hoping this is going to be good. I haven't had this beer before. There is the cap. Let's pop a top. Let's see what we've got. Now, I was expecting a little bit of smoke off that. So I'm using my Grimbergen chalice. Let's get it into a glass and let's see what we've got. Well, that's ridiculously, ridiculously poured beer by myself. I do apologise. So, being a glass, what have we got? We've got ourselves. Beer itself is a lovely, deep brown, almost black colour beer. And when the light gets it, that's what the light, the light coming in. Dark outside these days. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of catching here from my side, but you guys can't see it. But yeah, it's a dark, dark brown. Uh, we've got a two finger, a tanned light. You're seeing it looks like a sort of a, an ivory. I've got it from the side. It's a it's a tanned head. Looks really good. Let's get the old nose. That's what we can smell. Oh wow, that smells good. Caramel, dried fruit, raisins, and that type of stuff. <laughs> There's that for me. It's it's a distinctive Belgian yeasty aroma. That smells really good. Right, let's go for the body combination. Cheers, my dears. Ooh. Light carbonation. Body is light, almost medicinal. Right, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. That is lovely. It's really nice. It's got a little bit of an earthiness to it. There's, there's, there's some dried dried fruitiness to it. Um, yeasty, definitely. There's, there's, there's definitely yeasty. We do get a little bit of caramel, but not a lot. Um, spices, cloves, all spice, cinnamon, that type of stuff. Yeah, it's very medicinal. It's lovely. It really is lovely. I like that. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to finish the rest of this and the rest of my bottle off camera. So I'll wrap this video up. Let me just drop it. No, that's no good putting that there, is it? Let me just put that there. So this is a St. Bernard's Christmas Ale. 10% um, do I like it yes but I buy this again you know what I might just get one of these and put it away it's got a uh, <laughs> 26 20, 2026 as a best before yeah I might be just get one of these just sticking it in the cupboard and just leaving it will I recommend this to friends yes lovely lovely Christmas beer it's got warm I'm starting to get that warm and feel I'm here from the uh, from the booze I don't pick up any any booze on this one so maybe just a little hint 
I wouldn't say this was particularly boozy. I am. Um, so anything else? So if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the St. Bernard's uh, website in the description box. Um, do that if you like the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there and I'll see you again for another Christmas beer. Maybe later on today. Probably. Do you know what makes you happy? Hey, Leo.